Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Y.Y. Rubenstein, Torah scholar and international speaker, author and broadcaster, and a former pupil of Govan High School. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, uh, the Cold War between the United States of America and the USSR, thank God, never escalated into a, a hot war. However, there was one area where it got a wee bit warm, and that was, of course, in the, the battle for prestige as to who was going to get a man on the moon first. The Soviets were originally more successful, and they were the first man to put a, a man into space, Yuri Gagarin. And this uh, spurred the Americans on to, to greater heights, and eventually they succeeded on June the 29th. Of course, in 1969, Apollo 11 deposited Neil Armstrong of Scottish descent on the moon's surface. Now, the run-up to this achievement presented NASA with an enormous problem because the astronauts are also uh, scientists and they have to record crucial data from their experiments. And the problem was that pens don't write in weightless conditions. And so NASA spent a considerable amount of money um, and expertise in solving the problem. The solution came with uh, a company called Fisher, who discovered or developed the NASA Space or Fisher Space Pen. I have one. It writes upside down, it writes underwater, and it writes in weightless conditions. The Russians took a pencil, and I think it rather illustrates that the answer can be staring you in the face, and sometimes you just don't uh, see it. And if I may stay in space for just a wee while longer, uh, it took 10 years and $7 billion for the European Space Agency to develop successor to the Ariane 4 space rocket. And the next generation was called the Ariane 5. And the first flight of the Ariane 5 was on Tuesday the 4th in June 1996. Four very expensive satellites blasted into space. And the flight lasted 39 seconds and ended in a huge explosion uh, which also resulted in the loss of uh, $370 million worth of satellite, which in today's terms would be expressed perhaps best by ouch. A subsequent investigation discovered that the fault was a, a simple human error. The software that was designed for the Ariane 4 was simply used in the Ariane 5 without taking into account that the Ariane 5 was a much bigger and faster machine. And therefore, the data passing back to the software was overwhelmed, and the computer simply detonated and blew up the rocket because it couldn't handle it. It was a simple human mistake and uh, a lot of egg on, on somebody's face. Tiny human error, sometimes overlooked, can sometimes have huge consequences. Growing up in Glasgow, the idea that four decades later there would be once more a Scottish Parliament with Scots making Scottish law for the Scottish people, I think would have been seen as being a forlorn hope or particularly fanciful. So as a rabbi, may I give you a blessing that those who pass legislation for the Scottish people uh, should have a canny eye that watches out for the big things and for the tiny details that sometimes can lead to an ouch.